Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back in London again. I can't get enough of the place at the minute. I was here a couple of weeks ago and it was just so much fun, but I didn't really get a chance to do much uh, in the way of street photography. So I thought I'd come down again this week and it's turned out absolutely belter of a day. So I'm really, really chuffed. I left uh, Wales and it was throwing it down for a change. But I've come to London and it's typical. Every time I come down here, it seems to have blue skies and really, really warm. Um, yeah, so really, really excited today. It's going to be a difficult one to, difficult one to vlog. Um, um, I've got a little, <laughs> a little GoPro on the top of the camera just so I can have a go at trying to film some of the shots I get. But yeah, it's going to be good, good fun. I, um, there's another reason I'm down here today as well. I'm going to meet up with a young girl later on today who's, uh, who's a singer. I'm doing a modelling shoot for her. So yeah, I'll catch up with her a bit later on. at 2 o'clock that is. So yeah, but until then, I'm going to try and get some, uh, visit some of the uh, typical places you get some nice street shots and perhaps try and discover a few new ones as well. Um, but it's really, really exciting. As far as settings go, I'm just going to be using the uh, 35mm uh, lens, which is a 50mm equivalent, just to try and get me a bit closer. Typical street photography um, lens is between 35mm and 50mm, so I kind of prefer the 50mm uh, view, just get you a little bit closer if you ever needed to sort of isolate a subject. Uh, but yeah, I've got the 35mm equivalent with me as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really, really good fun. The things I'm looking for, because it's such a strong... As you can see, I'm going to put my sunglasses on in a minute. It's such a strong, contrasty lighting day. Uh, I'm going to be looking for some really, really nice shadows to sort of photograph, some nice shapes. Um, and obviously, yeah, yeah, just catch people in, in the moment sort of thing. Hopefully, with a little GoPro on the top of the, the camera, I'll be able to film a few of the shots as well. And uh, yeah, it'll be a good day. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, what I'm not looking forward in, in the shots are um, sort of like signage, really. I don't really like street photography when it's got um, brands and stuff in the background so I'm trying to and clutter so I'm trying to keep the photographs relatively simple um, without any branding without anything you know too messy in the background pretty much as you would with a landscape photograph really just trying to keep it nice and simple as, as clean as possible but yeah just looking for nice strong leading lines a nice strong contrast uh, I'm going to be shooting mainly I think in black and white I absolutely adore black and white for street photography and uh, I've set the camera to shoot really really contrasty as well so plus on the shadows plus on the highlights gets a really really nice contrasty shot so it'll be really really cool i will um shooting raw and jpeg so i can uh, change them into color as well see if i get some nice vibrant colors but yeah i'm looking forward to seeing these in black and white anyway we're going to head to tate modern now um i've never been before but i see some amazing uh sort of abstract street photographs there uh, so that'll be a really really good place to start just to say i've been uh, see what it's like because the light is really strong today don't know where it is as far as positioning and as far as the sort of the entrance way of the, uh, of the gallery, but we'll have a look. If the light's in the right place, we might get some nice images there. Fingers crossed. Anyway, right, I'm going to head off. It's roasting, I can't believe it. Too heavy for this, too hot for carrying this big bag around, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Wow, just left Tate Gallery now. Absolutely flipping amazing in there. Didn't have very long in there, I didn't realise the time. Um, meeting the young lady for a photo shoot in about 40 minutes. And uh, I was only in there probably about 20 minutes, half an hour. Epic place, so many opportunities to get some good uh, sort of candid shots. I quite enjoyed it. Um, bit of a problem though, the GoPro clip kind of snapped off the top of the camera. I don't know what, don't know what I'm going to do about that. Hopefully, good thing about GoPro stuff, you find it everywhere, don't you? So fingers crossed, I'll uh, still manage to get some footage though. But it's good. Yeah, so we're going to find my way over to where uh, Yasmina is now. I've no idea how to get there. But I'll see you again in a second. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a bit more. Well, we will be able to do a bit more street, street photography after, after that shoot. See you in a sec.
Well, that was awesome. Did an awesome, awesome photo shoot with Yasmina. She's just gone now, so I'm going to do go, try and get back into uh, Camden Market, then go back to the street photography side of it. Really good fun. I had a quick coffee. It's been uh, it's been really good. She did awesome on the camera. I'm impressed with the pictures. So yeah, wander around. It's absolutely mental in there. So <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to vlog at all. It's absolutely crazy the amount of people in there. So I'll try and get the um, the GoPro sort of won't stay on the top of the Expo 2 at all because the little flipping things snap. But uh, yeah, that's annoying. So I'm going to try and film it and uh, take some pictures. And now the light keeps going really harsh, really sort of soft. So I'm looking for harsh, contrasty light, but uh, it comes and goes every five minutes. So it's a bit difficult. But yeah, been good fun. I'm going to get back into it now. Anyway. That's in a sec. This is actually really difficult. But not only because there's so many people around, it's difficult to get an isolated photograph, but also it seems that if every, the biggest issue I'm having, seeing some great shots, but if people aren't sort of doing something or, you know, talking or they're on their phone. I just see people with phones in their hand the whole time and it's really difficult. It kind of ruins a lot of photographs. You see some really nice compositions and nice opportunities and then you realise that the phone in the hand, it's dropping me nuts a little bit, but uh, it makes you realise how difficult street photography is to get really, really good shots. I suppose there's a lot of waiting around. So I'm going to try a different um, environment now. It's mental in there don't actually know where. I think I'll head back down towards the centre of London and uh, yeah, be near somewhere for sunset as well. That'll be cool. So I'm going to jump back on the tube now and uh, I've no idea where I am. Camden. That's all I know. Um, yeah, just get back to London. So this is what I flipping love about London. I just uh, going through the train station and met this cool, cool dude who was just dressed that looked like awesome. I thought he'd make an awesome photo shoot. So I was actually asking him directions, but turns out I ended up doing a photo shoot with him as well. So really, really cool. Cheers very much to me. and much appreciate that. Pictures look awesome. Uh, but yeah, he's giving me, give me directions now. We head back to Brick Lane. I head down to Brick Lane. I was at Brick Lane a couple of weeks ago with Andy and David. So I'm gonna try and get some more street done down there. I'm absolutely loving the place. People are dressed quirky, everything's unique and full of character and everyone's friendly. I, I love London, really, really. On a great day. What an amazing day. It was supposed to have been a day full of street photography, but I ended up doing a bit of street portraiture as well. Met some amazing people. London is full of really, really cool people. Really interesting place. I love it, I adore it. I've just come out of the Walkie Talkie Tower, the well, top of the Walkie Talkie Tower, the, um, the Sky Garden. They've got a, a bar at the top, which gives amazing panoramic views of London. Uh, but at the time, unfortunately, by the time I got there, the sun had gone down, so I didn't really get any nice light. And it's clear blue sky anyway, so it's a bit of a shame. Anyway, I've got a three and a half hour drive back to South Wales now, which I'm really looking forward to. But uh, hopefully I managed to document some of the, uh, it's my first attempt really at street photography, so hopefully I, can, I didn't go that bad. <laughs> but 
it would have been nice if the GoPro had stayed on top of the camera. That would have made filming some of the shots a lot easier. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please hit that like button. Give, drop me a comment, of what you, let me know what you think of the uh, photographs and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.